So just another quick video about version DJ and a plugin called Loudmax. And uh, because I've gotten a few questions about Loudmax, people tend to love it and want to add it to version DJ and ask how to do that. And it's pretty simple actually. But just to start out, I'm just going to do a little bit of a disclaimer because I personally don't recommend adding stuff like Loudmax because I want version DJ to put on like a, a clean, um, clean, normalized or auto-gained uh, uh, audio signal in, in Unity. And uh, then I want to fix any issues like EQing and stuff, uh, maybe some boosting later down the signal chain, like maybe in a, uh, in a, in a physical EQ or maybe on a, a, a small mixer or maybe on an actual uh, speaker system. But of course, in some situations you can't do that, so you need something else. And for that, I usually use an EQ plugin directly inside Virtual DJ. But if you also want some boosting and something that's like loudness or maximizer oriented, you can try something like Loudmax. It's pretty simple, it doesn't really hurt anything. So that's what we're looking at today. So as I said, uh, Loudmax is a uh, look ahead brick wall loudness maximizer. And it's also a limiter, but the limiter is already in Virtual DJ. So that doesn't really matter much, but so it's like loudness, so it makes like, it like a more boosted kind of feel when you use it, even though it's artificial, of course. So uh, it comes as a VST plugin, uh, VST2 plugin here uh, for 32 fix, uh, bit windows and 64 bit windows, which also will be 32 bit virtual DJ and 64 bit virtual DJ, because virtual DJ currently run VST2. In the future, it may also support VST3, then we may be the Swiss one, but for right now, it's this one. If you're on Mac, you can try playing with this one down here. Uh, I haven't got a Mac, so I haven't tried that, but you can try it if you like. But we're gonna go with, with this one to get it. Because, like I said, it's a VST effect, and that just goes right into Virtual DJ because it supports VSTs, right? So, uh, when I then click this to download, then I basically get this little uh, zip file that contains a Loudmax DLE, DLL and a Loudmax 64 DLL. And since Virtual DJ 2021 is 64-bit, and uh, the 32-bit version of Virtual DJ is not really used that much anymore, but still is the one that will work on Windows 7. Um, it's a 64-bit version that I'm going to want to use. If you are still on Windows 7, may maybe with like Virtual DJ 2020, then you can uh, use this one. But we'll go with this one for the 64-bit Virtual DJ 2021. So when does it go? Where does it go? Well, it goes into uh, sound effects in the plugins, and in this case in plugin 64, because it's again 64-bit, in the virtual DJ folder, which is a subfolder of your documents folder. So basically, in a subfolder to where everything always goes in virtual DJ, right? So I simply grab this DLL file, and then I drag it in and drop it in here. So it's down here, and it'll just appear magically in virtual DJ. So let's try opening virtual DJ then. Here. Um, so the first thing I would like to say here in is that the just check some settings because um, when we test this, we want to make sure that we're not doing anything weird with the sound. So into options, see, is auto gain on? Yes, it says auto, so that'll just work. And what about co 2 Are we currently cutting anything out? No, that's set to default, you know, co 2 which can lower your all master output. That's set to default, so it won't do anything. It's not in, it's not in play at, at, the, at the moment with these settings. So let's just do, look at it then. Well. Where do, we, where do we actually use this? Well, you could use this on your deck. Um, right here. It'll be down here in the list. So I could go down here and I can pick Loudmax. Uh, and then I could use it. But then you have the fear of it being disabled every time you load a new track. That'll be like a default. Or you can't really use this flood for anything else. So that's probably not where you want to put it. Um, you probably want to put it out in the master section, master effect section here because that'll just run all through the night and that's what you want to do to get a consistent output with this with this plugin, right? So that's uh, currently EQ. So let me just, just because I mentioned that before, let me just uh, uh, show that too. So that's what I would probably normally use. So if, if I load a track over here and I uh, open the EQ settings, so this little box next time, and uh, do this so we can see them. Then you can see uh, it's not turned on yet, but I have severely lowered uh, the frequency around 125. Uh, maybe because there was a room where that acts up with the wall or something. So you can clearly hear if I play it now and I enable this that it that it's kicking in and changing the, the output. So 
so that's what I would normally use to change my EQ. So lower some stuff here so uh, that you can uh, get a, a, a an output that plays well with the physical room you're in. If you don't have a physical EQ or something like that, lay down in the signal chain. But that's not really what this video is all about. So we'll turn it off, if it already is. And we'll throw that away and then we'll go into loud max, which is also gonna be here further down. So now we have loud max. So let me uh, just try grabbing the uh, GUI for that. It's gonna be over here. And um, that's basically what you get. And uh, so that's what you have to play with, these two sliders. And that's fine, uh, because that's really everything you need. Now, when they're all the way up here at zero, they won't do anything. So if I play the track, this, and turn out loud max, you can see it does all this stuff, it's taking it, but it actually, can't hear any difference. You can't hear any difference because when this is set to zero and zero, it doesn't do anything. Now the default tends to be that this is zero, but the threshold down here is maybe around minus six or maybe a little bit higher than my, um, minus nine. Let's just set it here. And when you do that, then you can clearly hear that it's boosting the audio doing its loudness thing. So let's try it. However, even though it boosted it, it also limited it. So let's check that just now, uh, because this is kind of the limiter coming in. So it really shouldn't give you any distortion or overdriven uh, output here, which should show at the value down here. So if I play it again, which is right now, the value shows 0.0 to the B. Then I start out max. And it still shows 0 0.0 dB. Because the limiter is built in. So it never reaches li this limiter. That max is handling all that all by itself. And that is why it's pretty it's pretty uh, safe to use, because it won't really ruin the uh, the level of the output signal because of its of its limiter built in. So let's just compare that to doing something stupid and just uh, um, just gaining uh, this output a lot, not using Outmax, but using normal game, so you can see the comparison. So I just play. Go crazy. Just have to disable that by now. So now you can see it's really, the limits are kicking. It's blinking yellow, now red, of course, and uh, you see down by the value, and it's it's removing volume, minus five, minus five, and six, stuff like that. So that's just to compare that that the limiter in in uh, in this master effect loud max is actually working pretty well. You won't do this. And what you also saw very interesting is even though I ruined the signal by bringing this gain very much up, because loud max was still turned on, it just simply removed it again and uh, made it still work so that the virtual TJ limiter never kicked in. So that's kind of interesting, right? Um, so it's it's fine to use, and um, you can also use it with zero to be. Uh, that still works, so if I play a track, start up max. So we are all the way up there, but we are not. Trigger on the limiter. And I come in here, and I uh, search for zero to be. Set that to like minus six. You can both you can both visually see up here that it's lowering the volume, and you can also see, hear it, of course. So let me just try doing that again. So we still have loud max on. We have zero to be at minus six. So it's kicking in, changing it to. Default. And we get a lot of volume. So you can still lower your overall volume using the zero to B, even though you're using loudmax. So that was basically all about loudmax. You get that from, uh, from this uh, 
Uh, download plate, it's free. I'll add the, uh, the, the link to the video description so you can go grab it for yourself and test it. So like I said, it's not on my recommended list because that's not really the kind of output I want from Virtual DJ. But it does work, it works fine, and uh, it does create loudness, and it doesn't really ruin the output in regards to uh, getting uh, distorted or overdriven output or, or hitting the limiter inside here in Virtual DJ.